Hello visuals and welcome back to another solo podcast. If you're sticking with the current theme of the uh, of what's happening at the minute with the, the visual podcast, this weekend of filming is purely me. Bees at work all day. I've been back from work for a couple of hours. Uh, Chris has got his new puppy. He's at home with the puppy chilling. Um, and I says, Chris, mate, you need a week off. You can't just get a new puppy and come down and film. You need to get him settled in, get him chilled out, let him let him relax. You don't want to just go up straight away and let him feel abandoned. So I won't make the podcast too long because I don't want to completely ramble on and boy, he's complaining until I'll get deaf because we all know how much I can ramble and chat and, and I need another coffee, to be honest, and another fag. And I also need to get on the website because we are still going to do a couple of little, um, little uh, sort of updates of what's happening in the film world what i can find and all that shit and shenanigans uh but i think we should just jump straight into um kong skull island because wow uh, that trailer looks beautiful in fact it doesn't look beautiful that trailer is absolutely beautiful it looks so fucking good i am so excited i cannot wait um yeah kong vs godzilla and it looks like fucking looks like King Kong's going to come out on top because we got an official statement off the people that um the people behind Kong uh, Godzilla vs King Kong, and we will have a definitive winner. But I have also recently seen a pretty cool theory of we know uh, obviously Co- uh, Godzilla fans throughout the years will know that there's usually a case of there's mo- there's multiple Zillas, right? Okay, that's cool, that's fine. Done, dusted, wicked, wiki, wiki, woo wow, woo wow, wiki. What if the co- the Zilla we've got in this because he. D- because he does look a little bit smaller, because Kong also looks bigger, but maybe Kong looks bigger because this Zilla is smaller, if that made sense. And uh, we, we get the defeated Zilla at the end, and all of a sudden, it was the fake one, and the real one comes out and is like, hey, uh, that would be fucking awesome. I, I don't want Zilla, I'm Team Zilla. Let, definitely let me know in the comments below, what are you? Team Zilla or Team Kong? Um, from this, it looks like we get a case of Godzilla's been going around, He's uh, these he's noted these disturbances and he's taken down all these different um whatever the fuck they come up with the called now bases um and yeah he's going around and obviously th- he's been attacking these bases and shit because it's kind of wrong he's kind of been a little bit of a bad guy but he never really was a good guy uh, but he's kind of doing it for the right reasons I guess uh, there's potential uh, mecha gods that are being being built and he's like no or is it that purely being built because of what he's doing uh, but anyway. Kong looks to be getting captured from from Skull Island and then being brought over across the um, the uh, the sea, uh, and then that's where we find. Him. Of course, that first battle, Godzilla's is not uh, going to lose it in in the ocean. Zilla's going to get battered, but we see atomic breath used against Godzilla, uh, King Kong, don't we? And he has a weapon made of one of the dorsal fins of Zilla, and he manages to reflect it and bounce it back and smash it around the face. Fuck, this is so freaking exciting. I can't fucking, fucking, fucking. Ugh, it's going to be amazing. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on, on Godzilla and King Kong. Well, Godzilla versus King Kong. Uh, they definitely will be a bigger threat. Because usually these end up the same way, you know. Two good guys face each other until the bigger threat comes. Yada, yada, yada. A lot of people say it's annoying and cliched and blah, blah, blah. I like it. Works for me. I, I, I get that you want to keep both heroes and that strong, whatever. Uh, let's go on film news anyway. What else have we got going on? I've got a list of stuff here. Ooh, a Cloverfield sequel in the works. Cloverfield, the J.J. Abrams produced horror hit released in 2008. Remember when they did loads of weird back stuff to that? Like, you go on to... Um, uh, a website and there's like ice cream and, and all this kind of mad shit. Uh, Abrams will produce along with a Bad Robot, Head of Film, uh, Hannah Miguela. Reeves is not involved in this project. Don't know who that is. Uh, Cloverfield was a monster movie shot in then popular found footage style. Right, okay, so there's a Cloverfield sequel in the works. It, I, I thought the sequels were Cloverfield Lane and The Cloverfield Paradox. Hmm... Okay, right, okay, wicked, cool. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League uh, confirmed as a movie coming in March. Okay, we covered that last week. That's absolutely fine. I'm so happy that it's uh, it's coming as a, uh, a big one long, four hour long movie as opposed to individual hourly parts because that fucking, that'd be annoying. Um, let's go off IMDb. IMDb? I, let's go off IMDb. Um, we're just going to uh, Empire. Uh, except all that's fine. Uh, a Harry Potter show reportedly in early stage at HBO Max. Are we both? In? Well, there's some probably pot of nerds out there. You guys are probably excited about that. I'm the person that asked. Uh, Kenneth Branagh will be Boris Johnson for the Skepted Isle. 
Oh, it'll be Boris. Okay. Um. Right, Brie Larson starring in Lessons of Chemistry. Don't know what that is. A Quiet Place Two. The Kingsman join the latest release date shuffle. Yeah, we got all that. It's, it's just sad. Sick of more pushbacks, pushbacks, pushbacks. I get. I mean, on one hand, I get it. I get that you keep pushing back because you want to make as much money. It's a bill, um, a, a business. Ugh. Jesus Christ, I want. Ugh. I want my, my films. I want Black Widow. Why can't you just give me Black Widow? Uh, Simberland. Movies. Sounds like four. Love and Thunder is bringing back another uh, Ragnarok alumni. Ooh, let's click on that article. What does that say? It's saying, although Marvel Studios keeping specific plot, specific plot details for Love of Thunder, the Guardians of the Galaxy would be involved. In We've seen a comment for off Dave Batista. Matt Damon's returning for Love and Thunder, so Matt Damon's going to be back. Uh, okay. Matt Damon's return in Jurassic Park. Sam Neill is indicated he'll likely be back for another round two. Uh, okay. Matt Damon's back. Did we really need him to come back? Well, I suppose it was goofy and all that. So why, why the fuck not? It's going to go harm anybody. Cherry, eight quick things to know about the Tom Holland movie. I am so excited about that, Cherry, it coming out. Tom Holland looks like he's going to do some of his finest acting work in that. It's going to be amazing. Oh, there, Cloverfield is finally getting a direct sequel, sir. So that's, that's, yeah, there's a couple of new sources that have confirmed that. I'm really, really excited for that. Um, new DVD release, 2020. All the latest movies and TV shows released to DVD. Don't need to know about that. Zack Snyder's homage to classic Superman comic cover just got praised by the artist. Uh, it's because obviously Superman Dawn is is famous a black suit with silver S. Uh, the Suicide Squad. Will fans need to see David Ayer's original James Gunn weighs in? I don't really want to dive into that story. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we'll see what happens with it because. It is what it is. Uh, wait, did a Spider-Man free set photo tease a new villain? Wait, what? Um, bringing Jamie Fox Electro, uh, Alfred uh, Molina, the Dr. Octo into the fold. But perhaps a fresh-faced ba baddie will accompany them. A new set photo has emerged. Uh, the set photo in question was shared on Reddit. shows a truck in downtown Atlanta, Georgia, with the logo Feast. Wait, Feast. That's, uh, don't, whoa, 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 are we talking Mr. Negative? As the homeless shelter where Peter Parker's Aunt May works and Miles, Miles volunteers, the shelter was started by Martin Lee, but his charitable can originally community affairs, uh, yeah, is, is the, uh, wait, don't tell me Mr. Negative is gonna, Spider-Man 3, oh, the goosebumps have started, the goosebumps have officially arrived, Spider-Man 3 is, a, is officially gonna be Fucking off the chains. It already was because it's Spider-Man. But fuck me. So there's potential. It might just be a fun little Easter egg. And he's not actually in it. Uh, but pff, imagine if they chucked in Mr. Negative. For all the shit Spider-Man's got to deal with. As it is. Deal. Mr. Negative can be a tricky fucking son of a gun. Fuck that's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Uh, five unanswered questions we have about the Dark Knight trilogy. Um... Let's see if we can find the questions. I won't like answer them or dissolve. Did John Blake become Robin? I'm going to say yes. Can Gotham survive without Batman? I'm going to say no. Could Bruce... No, I'm going to say yes. Fuck it. Because they'll have Robin. Could Bruce Wayne stay retired in good conscience? No. Nope. Uh, what happened to the Joker? Definitely just went to Arkham or whatever. How much money did Alfred get? Is that what you're really asking about? How much money did Alfred get? I'm going to say a fuck ton. Bruce Wayne definitely had connections and, and, and stuff hidden somewhere. I, I believe that shit anyway. Uh, Fantastic Beast 3. Uh, see what made Mickey Gagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
It'll be a flashback -y sort of sequence, surely. And there's, there's some shenanigans going on. That, that's, not, that's just speculation on his behalf, though. Um, for Love and Thunder, is James Gunn working on the Guardians with Tiki Waititi? Wait, if they teamed up, that would be fucking awesome. I would be there to take all my money for that shit. Fuck. How James Cameron helped encourage Donnie Darko to... Uh, James Cameron seems to have his fingers a lot of pies at the minute. George Clooney compares his work on Netflix's Midnight Sky to his iconic time on ER. Oh, Indiana Jones, The Time of Doom vs. The Last Crusade. Which is the better Indiana Jones sequel? <sighs> Temple of Doom. I think Temple of Doom could be my favourite Indiana Jones. I really, really fucking love that. I really fucking love Temple of Doom. Oh, there's a question for you visuals then. Uh, which is the better Indiana Jones sequel? The Temple of Doom or The Last Crusade? Uh, four Marvel projects, Tanya Paris, a.k.a. Monica Rambo, could play a big part in After WandaVision. Uh, let's see what they're speculating she could play a big part in. It depends if they're going to give her back to her comic book origins. Are they going to give her, her her weird energy powers? Or are they going to even embrace her, see her that she was once a Captain Marvel? Uh, uh, whatever. Captain Marvel 2. Okay, that's a pretty easy guess. Miss Marvel. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Secret Invasion. Well, yeah, Space Shenanigans. Sure, and all that. Blade. Why would you be involved in Blade? Well, suppose. Depends how these vampires and that will get you. Um... Yeah, I could maybe see you being involved in Blade. That's the the weakest out of the lot. But Captain Marvel and that, I completely get why you'd be rumoured for that. Okay, Marvel's Eternal is what we know so far. Jesus Christ, I'm getting, I think I'm getting a bit far back here. It's given as, like, how Amber Heard's team responds after Claim rolled out. She had, ah, oh, fuck off, Amber Heard. <sighs> what a dick. Uh, Vin Diesel's excited for what's coming in Fast and Furious 9 and 10 in cool... Post featuring The Rock. Featuring The Rock. So I take it, them boys have, uh, have all made up. What Matthew McConaughey learned about strip clubs while prepping for Magic Mike with Channing Tatum. Learned that they're full of uh, no no ladies and um, lots of no no drinks and no no drugs. No. Chang Chi Simulu explains why his audience will be surprised by his Marvel debut. I seen an interview with him how he was, he was so happy to get this amazing dream role and dream job and stuff. Um, but as soon as he put the, the, the outfit on, he kind of regretted a little bit because the outfit is apparently really, really uncomfortable. Which, ah, I mean, I, I think most people would suffer being uncomfortable to be in a comic book film as a main comic book character. I'll be so happy. Um, after dating Twilight, uh, Robert Patterson, FKA Twigs, reveals why his fan base was so difficult to deal with because I imagine Robert Patterson fangirls are very, very... Very weird. Dwayne Johnson and Southland Tales may have prevented an alternate X-Men movie from happening. You don't turn your back on Dwayne Johnson, even if it's for, for the X-Men. Wait, what? We should delve into that, but... I don't want to ramble on too much, because it's just me. Uh, I'm just sort of reading the headlines here, aren't I, and carrying on. Fuck it. You guys you guys will tell me to fuck off in the comments. Amber Heard's legal team wants to rope in Disney about Johnny Depp's behaviour on the set of Pirates of the Caribbean and more. How much did Wonder Woman 1984 drive subscribers to HBO? I heard it was a fair bit, to be honest. Uh, Star Wars, The Last Jedi's uh, Ryan Johnson confirmed an awesome Easter egg. Oh. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll click on that one. Uh, filmmaker Ryan Johnson became a household name over the past few years thanks to his work on Star Wars The Last Jedi as well as his Oscar nominated Wooden Knives Out Knives Out was quite good uh, Engine of the Galaxy blah, blah, blah. Confirmed he's reconnecting none other than Han Solo Ryan Johnson's took a ton of bold narrative risks that The Last Jedi subverting expectations following The Force Awakens every frame of the blockbuster has been Dis, uh, dissected over the past three years but it turns out that new discoveries are still happening at least that's what's happened when an eagle-eyed fan caught a star wars easter egg with johnson himself taking the time to confirm um right okay so uh am i the last to know that the last jedi the resistance wrote han says hi on one of the bombs at Ryan Johnson, I love you even more you beautiful bastard at Ryan Johnson's replied to them with a gif of Harrison Ford Okay, so one of the bombs say, um, Han says hi. All right, cool. An official Easter egg. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that. I'm not the biggest Star Wars nerd, and I don't know the biggest Star Wars knowledge. Uh, we'll, we'll have one last little dive, dive in somewhere. 
Uh, every new company, Walt Disney World, okay. Um, then the Washington Place tribute to late Chadwick Boseman and the gentlemen of Hollywood actors who came after him. Oh, what a fucking legend. Uh, see how the guys of the galaxy, Dave Bautista, prepared to film Love and Thunder. No, these are all stories I've been through. I want what to end with. Like I said, 15 minutes is a nice, nice sort of run time for a solo podcast. Surely it is. If you're even silly, yeah. My voice isn't going through you. I've kind of given myself dry mouth, but there's a lot of liquid at the back of my tongue. HBO Max trailer offers new glimpses at Suicide Squad, Mortal Kombat, and more. Yes, did you see that? HBO Max, Warner Brothers, they're finally coming against some of their own points on the board up against Disney and that because the Suicide Squad, chilling at home watching it, because um, Carol Cinema is not going to be open, unfortunately. Uh, Kong vs. Godzilla. Godzilla vs. King Kong. That's going to be on HBO Max. I'm going to watch that shit at home. Change my NordVPN, son. Um, and a lot of other cool things. Like Mortal Kombat. Not the biggest Mortal Kombat fan. But by golly, I'm going to be watching that film. And I'm so excited. Um, yeah. We'll end it there then. We'll end it there. It was HBO was cool. Uh, visuals. I mean, we, we could have delved into these stories a little bit more. But I'm on a bit of a time scale. In a bit. I've got I've got another f- football match to watch. I'm actually 15 minutes over. But um. Hope you didn't mind that little ramble on visuals. It, it kind of there's she, there's she news. It was I mainly talked about Godzilla vs Kong. Really didn't I give a few edits? But <laughs> there we go. Visuals. Jason Statham and Aubrey Plaza's new spy comedy shows off some footage, and they look fresh. I like Aubrey Plaza. She seems crazy, and Jason Statham's fun. Then we'll leave it there. Visuals. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We we'll to keep being you and uh, keep on uh, keeping on. I love each and every one of you. You stay home and wash your hands. But only go home when you can't go home and stay at work when you're going to work with walk on a bus, whatever that means.